crap happens when you're farming. You do your best, you try to plan for stuff like this, and at the end of the day... <laughs> down i property line past all of the hay fields and around the corner i property wraps right behind all of our neighbors and if you continue on through all of the hay fields and around the corner you'll come upon our neighbor's field you can actually see him diligently working away trying to bail up that hay the only problem is he doesn't have it all cut his hay cutter broke down and he's unable to get it done so I jump in to try to help him out, but there's just one problem. There are unexpected guests hiding in that field and well, it's hit or miss and hopefully we're going to miss. This is some of the tallest hay I've ever caught. Um, I would say probably a lot of this is up to my shoulders at least. I had to cut an inner pathway first because a lot of the round bales are too close to where I need to drive. So, as much as I don't want to run this hay over because it's so tall, I don't have a choice. Hopefully, I don't run any baby deer over because they were running back and forth across the road into this field as I drove over here. I have never yet injured any wildlife besides snakes. I don't even think I've hit rabbits. Ugh. And I know I'm not cutting very good right now, so I apologize. And I'm not even videotaping anything relevant either. So, wish me luck. This is some really, really tall, thick grass. The neighbors, it was an actual, it's a New Holland hay vine, it's an actual hay vine, um, kicked the bucket. It broke up a bolt or something. And he doesn't have the ability to fix it right now because he just had hand surgery so I'm doing him a favor in cutting this whole field for him I I don't know how big this field is it's a lot bigger than I thought probably three times larger than I thought I see that there's probably at least a good eight acres so hopefully it won't take too long <laughs> but you know what can you do I mean it sucks to have equipment down um, you know, it's, I know, like, for me, if I had something go down, I would really appreciate someone coming in to cut it for me. Um, I'm probably the only neighbor, however, that's able to be a little bit more flexible because most of the other people work full time. So, with me, I work from home, so it's a little bit easier for me to jump in and help somebody than the other way around. But, it is what it is, and I'm glad... I can help out. <laughs> and the irony is his wife just had surgery too. Um, so she's laying down. She can't really get up much and he can't handle anything. So I'm like, man, it kicked you both down. So hopefully they'll both be back up on their feet pretty soon. But at least this will be one thing off their plate. And uh, it's going to be nice weather this week too. So might as well get it done. Yeah. Definitely some thick grass. There's a lot of different types of grasses, but it's definitely good cattle grass. And that's what they have as stamp cows. So it looks like his round baler is doing pretty good too. Alright, I just saw mom run out over there. She's over there. She was right here. So I'm going to go out and check just to make sure there's like no babies over here. Because um, this is tall and thick enough that they probably would like to hide. Ugh. It's definitely tall. So hopefully, this must be where she was laying. Hopefully there's nobody else out here. Um, if I find a baby, I'm going to have to scoop it up and stick it over there. I know you're not supposed to touch them, but 
you can't count on these things running away necessarily. Just grab it like a baby cow. Not that I have any experience with that, but you know, <laughs> you just kind of figure it out. So hopefully there's no babies over here. Gosh, that would suck so much. All right, I just saw another baby run out, but it didn't run out out. It just ran down a little bit more. You can see the area is getting a little bit more narrow. Um, it's actually taking me less time than I had anticipated to cut, and that's good. But I didn't know there were still deer out in here, so now I really got to watch and be careful. There's a big dip right there. Oh, I think there it goes right there. Right there. You see it? It doesn't want to leave the grass, and that's understandable. Alright, so I'm going to let you guys watch this. I'm going to try and watch my back end to make sure there's nothing still hiding. There it goes. Okay. That's good. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't... I'm glad he's, like, being careful about the road, but... Um, oh, poor little fellow. Hopefully that's the only one. He just doesn't know what to do. Great, he's gonna run back in there. Oh, run, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go, all the way down there. Uh, apparently he's just playing, because now he's just running laps. There's a fence over there, hopefully he doesn't hit the fence. Yeah, see, he's just... I'm guessing that he grew up in this field, and this is his home, so he doesn't really want to leave it. Look at him, he's just like... He does seem like he's got a little bit of a limp, maybe. I don't think I've hit him yet, so hopefully that's the only baby. I really want to die on my deathbed not having maimed any deer in a hay field, so. <laughs> um, you know, small goals in life. I just saw him pop back out again, unless that's another one. I don't know. I don't know what he does when I'm not looking, so. Uh, he's right up there, so I've been trying to keep my eye on the grass. The birds are freaking out in here, too. Um, this area right here is definitely a lot thicker. So I'm guessing that he's going to be right up in here. Oh, right there, right there. You see it? You see the little ears? There it is, right there. Right, my finger's in the way. <laughs> okay. Yeah, man, this guy just does not know what he wants to do. Now he's going to cross the road. Okay. But I'm sure he's going to run back in. He used to just go hang out in someone's ditch for a little while. There he is right there. He's like, oh. Hey. So... I don't see him coming back around, but he probably will. Oh, he's up there. Just trying to figure out what's happening. I don't blame him. I mean, his entire house is, like, being demolished right now, and he's like, what do I do? But, I mean, he does have other areas. There's lots of grass out here that's not cut. That I mean, look at, I mean, all that over there. The tractor probably moves slow enough that it's not too scary to him, but he knows it's loud. Like, dang it, I thought you were done. I bet he's gonna jump in here once I get down to the far end again. I keep forgetting. You gotta look in here for any brothers or cousins or neighbors. So, oh gosh, right there. I think that's another one. I think there are two of them. Because that one's not running to the side. Oh man. I'm getting really nervous here. So, if anything crazy happens, I will not have it on camera. <laughs> Alright, well, stay tuned. I'll let you know how it goes. Well, I got the field all the way cut. And including 
my hydraulic line, I totally snapped it. That was my own dumb fault. I was driving across the field and I kicked it up into a higher gear so that I could, you know, just pick off the last bit. And I had the PTO running because I was picking off little bits of grass here and there as I was rolling along. And um, so all the hydraulic lines um, always have to snake around the PTO. And so I always try to tie them up. Um, I'll either tie them up here or I'll tie them onto this. And it must have bounced and caught the PTO and just shredded it. I heard it go. And the problem is that it's stuck in the down position. And I have to somehow haul this home. It's not a good scenario. I can crank it in, but um, it, it's not good that it's, it's down like that. And this thing is way too annihilated to try to even limp it at all. I mean, this is a toast, just complete toast. I've managed, I've done pretty good 10 years. I've never ripped a PTO or a hydraulic line off. This is the first one. I even double checked it. Um, but it just, I don't know if my tie caught on here or what, um, but it's, it's bad. So I have to figure out how to get this home. <laughs> I was this close, this close to having nothing wrong. Fortunately, I was able to pull the PTO, the hydraulic end out of the tractor right there because it was spewing PT or uh, it was spewing hydraulic fluid out the back. It's still kind of spewing hydraulic fluid out a little bit. <sighs> yeah, that's like a hundred dollar PTO line, hydraulic line. Sorry, my brain's done. I'm just, I'm done. <laughs> it didn't take long, but you know, I just, uh, I just had it coming, I guess. So sorry, I'm not a smoker. My voice sounds terrible because my allergies are kicking into high gear right now. So I literally have no voice to talk. And, um, yeah, uh, I'm sure Eric's not going to be very happy with me. But you know, crap happens when you're farming. You do your best. You try to plan for stuff like this. And at the end of the day, you know, crap is just going to happen. So at least I didn't hit a rock or the deer. But don't worry. It wasn't all stress and fretting. You did get a little bit of a vacation. Every year the fair comes to town and we are so fortunate that we only live five minutes away. So our one and only vacation, we hit the fair as much as we can. Uh, we started off strong with hitting the rides with our son. I don't mind roller coasters, but I do not like spinning rides. I have tried over the years. I have terrible motion sensitivity and I end up puking my brains out. <laughs> What a gentleman. gentleman holding the girl door for all the girls. <laughs> Pile of them too. This is a scary animal. You're not scared at all? Oh my gosh, I am gonna freak out. It's the looky out part that scares me. Looking <laughs> down Then the next night, it was off to the Demolition Derby. We hadn't been to the Demolition Derby in years, probably since our son was two years old. It had been that long. Oh my
sister and brother-in-law were going, so we decided to tag along with them. I'm gonna say that uh, I have no idea if it was a good derby or a bad derby because we really couldn't see anything. They revamped the stadium setup, so pretty much most people couldn't see anything. I think they're doing demo at the end of the night. But we still had a lot of fun, except for this guy. And then there's this guy. He made a very flamboyant show of being able to cut in line. It, I know that's something that five-year-olds do. This guy was about you know, 13 to 16, and he thought it was hilarious that he could just cut in line in front of all of the elderly people, patiently waiting for their one chance at a corn dog. It was very unfortunate because there were a lot of angry people behind him that really were holding their tongue. <laughs> Those elderly people were too kind to tell him that he needed to get his butt out of there. Anyway, lastly, it was the rodeo, which has always been my favorite, of course, because there's horses, there's cowgirls, there's cowboys, and you know, it's just, ah. So I one chance to kind of dress up just a little bit. been to a rodeo this year put in the comments down below let me know what your favorite event is at the rodeo I really love watching the little midget barrel racers and by midgets I mean kids they're not literally midgets the kids I love watching the little kids try to barrel race on their little tiny horses and then they fall off it's so adorable oh, I missed that this year sadly anyway let me know what your favorite events were I hope you guys had a happy 4th of July, and I hope that nobody caught anything on fire this year. It has been very, very dry ever since we caught hay. I'm glad we caught it when we did because now everything is just a wasteland. So prayers for rain so that we can get a second cutting because right now we should be cutting in about two weeks. It's not going to happen. It's just a crazy year. Anyway guys, I hope your crops are all doing well. I hope your gardens are flourishing. Have a great weekend. Until next time, see you later. Bye.